I'll show you how to quickly remove ghosting in your HDR merged images in Affinity Photo. Let's take this image as an example then. So this is a bracket of three exposures that has been HDR merged. And it's quite a challenging scene. If we zoom in, we have all of these people walking around in front of the building. And then additionally, we have the water fountains as well. And indeed, we can see some artifacting in the water here. But most notably, we've got ghosting with all of the people in the scene. And of course, this is what you would expect if you have moving elements between the different exposures that you HDR merge. So there is an automatic way to fix this, and there is also a manual way to fix this. And I'll show you both. So first we need to remerge the source files. I'll go to File and Close, and close this HDR document down. Then I'll go to File, New HDR Merge, choose to add my images. There we go, find the JPEGs, click Open, and I will check Automatically Remove Ghosts. However, we don't need noise reduction and tone map HDR image for this example, so I'll uncheck them and click OK. So Affinity Photo will then align the source images, then begin the HDR merge procedure. So it's taking the most detailed pixels from each exposure and merging them. However, what it will also do is evaluate which image is best for the ghosting in the foreground here. And indeed, if we now just zoom in, we can see it's done a pretty good job at de-ghosting. Okay, so we don't get any bizarre artifacting or trailing around the people. However, we do have all of these bizarre specular highlights here, presumably because it has used the brightest exposure for all of these people in the scene. So in the event that we need to retouch manually, we can also do this. You'll notice when we first created this document that we had the clone brush selected for us. If we go back and select that tool, we have here the Sources panel. And what this allows us to do is click one of these source images, then click the Toggle Source Preview icon here. And this will show us that source image. So what we can do is click through the images and find the best one. So that's too noisy, that image. This image looks about perfect. So once we've found the image, we can toggle Source Preview again to get back to our final HDR document. Then we can just increase the brush width. I'm using the right bracket key on the keyboard to do this. I'll take the hardness down as well. And we can just begin cloning in from that particular source image. So you'll notice the images all looked equal in terms of exposure. This is because each exposure is equalized before the HDR merge process. So we don't have to worry in terms of matching brightness or anything like that. All the exposures are equalized and it's the equalized versions that you see here in the sources panel. So I'm just doing a quick job here, just cloning all of the elements back into the scene to remove the ghosting. Okay. And I'll just do a very quick job until I'm happy for this example. But of course, we could spend a little bit more time just zooming into areas of the image and making sure we're happy with the overall composition. But there we go. Very quickly, that is how you remove ghosting in your HDR merged images.